What's up, everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in. It's your girl, Panina Monet. You already know. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you so much for stopping by, coming to watch my videos. Really appreciate it. And if you guys have already been here before, you're already subscribed, subscribed, and you're already a part of the Monet family. Hey, boo. Welcome back. So, today's look is going to be a nice peach spring look or summer look, however you want to call it. And it is featuring this bad boy right here. Bam, the new Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Super gorgeous, it smells so good. It smells like straight peaches and y'all know I am in ATL and you might as well say I'm a Georgia peach even though I'm not from Georgia, but hey, whatever. So I got the peach palette. And then I also got the Carly Bible palette which I am wearing the highlighter. Yeah this video and this tutorial and it is this highlighter right here and my next tutorial or my next makeup tutorial which probably won't be my next video but my next makeup tutorial will be on this one and then the following one will be on the k-pop um shadows that i got the karuchi line so my videos I always say everything is really really pretty and I really really like it and all this stuff that just means I like it like it's dope it's a one but anyway so this is the makeup look and if you want to see how I get this makeup look, just keep watching. Okay, guys, we're going to jump straight into the tutorial. I'm going to go in with Puree, which is this color right here. And I'm going to pop that in my crease. So I am putting this above my actual crease and the reason why actually I just started doing it like this and the reason why I'm doing it like this is because when I close my lid you can see a crease perfectly fine but when I open my eye <clears throat> you start to see my lid start to wrinkle and anytime I put color in the crease it just looks crazy as hell so I'm going to make a fake crease or a faux crease bring it up some so that way you can see more colors on my lid and my eyes have always done that like this is nothing new but I'm going to blend and I'm using windshield motions which is this windshield wiper motions and small circles it's just a small tapered blending brush and then I'm going to use the color Summer Yum, which is this color right here. And I'm going to blend that just underneath the puree color I used. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. What is this? This is the e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm going to take this candid peach color. Candid peach. And pop that all over the lid. Yo. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> My boo boo collar. Mm. Booski. Mm, 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 mm. I'll be right back. Hold on. <laughs> So I can't remember if I told you guys in one of my other videos that this eye has a burn over it. And normally it's really hard to blend out shadows on this side because the texture of my skin is different over here than it is over here. Um, so if when I'm doing these makeup looks, if this eye just doesn't look as good as this eye, it's because the skin is like really, really hard to blend. Like for real, it's really hard. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this Just A Taper Blending Brush to basically blend out all this, this up here. Which is pretty blended, but I want to go in and blend it out some more, diffuse it some more. I use this uh, Benefit Air Patrol Eye Primer. 
to this is the bb cream for your eyelids i use that to prime my entire eye and underneath my lid so that the payoff of the shadows can show up better and when you take it off it has like this little rubber piece and on the rubber piece you just you know oh you turn this you wind this up and then it comes out of that little hole right there and then you just put it on with the little rubber piece and then make sure you like turn it the opposite direction to make it stop coming out because it'll keep coming out I'm going to use this foundation too. This right here has become one of my new favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Milani foundation. And I'll be right back, baby. Stop. So I'm going to start off with Puree, which was this color right here. I'm going to use that color first. Then I'm going to use that color. And we're going to put this in the center. There. So I'm going to use this color Nectar, which is right there. I'm going to apply a little bit of that on the inner corners and then down on that, probably a little bit on the Peach Nectar. Use This is a Morphe M431 pencil brush. Get a little bit of that when I put that on the inner corner. Mm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my finger and dip that back in nectar and just put a little bit, a little bit of sparkle right there in the center. So just so that I didn't lose any of the intensity of that nectar, I'm going to go back in with that elf brush and peach candy, I meant candy peach and place it. almost like a halo okay guys it was a struggle getting these bad boys on but i got them on and now i look like real doe-eyed and these are um what are these things these are ardell lashes i can't remember the number but i'll find it and i'll let you know all right so we're going in with a little mascara i already put mascara at the top so now i just need to put mascara at the bottom i'm only putting a little bit i think i'm only putting a little bit look for my little elf fan brush and I think for this since this is a peachy look I'm going to go in with this peachy color or this pinky color blush not blush highlighter and these don't have any names on it but this is the one I'm going to use and wait let me see what this looks like on me first Whew, that is super pigmented okay yeah let me use this fan brush to use that Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my charge water. Try not to get my eyes black because I don't want my eyelashes to fall off. So I'm gonna do one of these moves to kind of cut down this powdery look, which I can't stand. Mmm, does the body good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with lips and I'm going to start off with this cork lip liner from MAC. Let me clean it off. Okay, so I'm going to go with this NYX, what is this, if I can find a name. The name of the lipstick is called Minimalism, but this is the, I guess this is one of their regular lipsticks. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so I'm going to go on with that. And this is the, oh, I need to clean that off too. <laughs> Alright, this is that color. My MAC, what is this, Per Lip Gloss. Let's put that in the center. And this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. 
don't forget, make sure you subscribe. So that way you get to see all these little cute videos that I'm putting up. And make sure you turn notifications on so that way when I post a video, you'll be able to see as soon as it comes up, it will come straight to your email. And share this with all your friends so that we can get Panina Monet popping on the YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you follow me on all my uh, social media outlets. I am on Snapchat at Panina Monet. I am on Instagram at Panina Monet. I am on Facebook at Panina Goldston, which is P-A-N-I-N-A, -N -N Goldston, G-O-L-S-T-O-N, or you can type in Panina Monet and it'll pop up as well. Um, I am on Twitter at Panina Monet. I think I already said that. If I didn't, I'm on Twitter. And I'm also on Tumblr and it's Panina Monet as well. So everything's Panina Monet, so make sure Panina Monet. So make sure you guys go follow me, share with all your friends, all this good stuff. And if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to chat with me down in the comment section. Peace out.